Hi everyone, Rory from Data Spinners and TDG. Today I'm going to do a video about the first and last function. Uh, they're pretty straightforward really, but um, you may find them useful um, as and when. So I'm just, just going to dive straight into Power Apps. So we're looking at a very simple collection. In the left hand table, we've got our fruit. There's only four of them and they are sorted by uh, by the ID. So it's just one, two, three, four. And on the right hand side, we can see that the uh, that they are sorted by the alphabetically by the fruit name. So obviously, if we were going to do first and last, then Obviously, oranges are the first uh, on the on the first table, and the plums are the last. And uh, actually, plums are last in in uh, both of them actually. So apples are first, and plums are last in the second one. So what um, I'm going to do is to show you how you can use the first and the last just to extract those. So I'm just going to move on to the um, onto the editing pane. Uh, I'm just going to put a straight label here. Uh, I'm just going to show you the, um, the the table exists as a collection, so it's just these um, these details here. So um, so I'm just going to do a simple first, and it's going to be cold fruit. Um, and then I'm going to put a dot because it's, I've got to tell it what I actually want. So let's just make it the fruit. Um, so that's just going to bring me out whatever they, whatever order in which this collection exists. So if you look on the file and then go to the collection itself and get a cold fruit, oranges are the first one. So, um, so there you go. Oranges, um, come out there and, and I will just do a copy paste of that and, I'm just going to put last there and it's going to come out with the um, it's going to come out with the um, with plums, which is fine. Now, uh, I'll actually rather unhelpfully, um, the plums going to be last in each case, but, you know, the principle still applies. So what we're going to do is do the same thing, but we are going to do it for this this instance here. So what we're going to do is we are going to use the sort function on this cold fruit. So we are going to I'm just going to try and see if I can make the form a little bit easier to read and just pump the size up a little bit. Let's see what happens there. Yeah, that's not too bad. So and then just a couple of enters there. So what we're going to do is we're going to do first and we're going to sort the cold fruit table by the uh, we're going to sort it in the second case by the ID uh, and then close the bracket on that and we should be OK. So and that's sorting it by the ID at the moment. So let's just check that. And in fact, what we want to do is to sort it alphabetically. So we're going to sort it by the fruit. So what we should find is the apples um, go to the top. And of course, if we did last, which isn't going to be very entertaining because it's just going to come up with plums, um, the, you know, we're going to have plums will, will actually come up. So um, that kind of shows you, look, how to, how to, um, how to use the function. What I'm going to do is now just uh, fire it up and show you how I've used it uh, in the past. So what we have in front of us is uh, an app and what we've got is I'll just show you the this um, this item here. So what we've got is the first Cole Photos Twitter TW Media. Essentially, it points it to a URL. Now, at the moment, that collection has nothing in it. So we go to File Collections. You can see it's got nothing at all in it. So what we can do is we can refresh the photos. And what that will do is it will go off to my SQL database and it will populate the table and then what that will do is it will mean that there is something um to which this uh, can refer to and the same is true of the i think there's a background image on this i'll just check that yep so the first one and the last one uh, work in this way 
Now, what we'll also see is that this particular, um, I'm using the shuffle function. So what it's going to do is it's going to go off to the Twitter feed thing, etc., etc., and it will each time it goes off to get it it actually shuffles it up again so that means each time i click refresh photos we'll end up with a different first and a different last which i think is quite cool so here we go we are going to just going to click refresh photos so So there you have it, the photos come in. Uh, I'm going to just click a few more times just to see what else comes in. Um, there's, a, there's a small number of photos. There's the TGG logo there, quite nice. Um, and uh, this is one that's been delivered on our Twitter feed. So um, I think this is quite good fun, quite good use of shuffle as well. Uh, it's great to use images and so on. So anyway, hopefully you found this useful. Please uh, like, please subscribe. It's what keeps us all kind of this YouTubers going and uh, see you again sometime soon.